about to go and I'm sure Von Williams will be looking down from above hoping the Magpies can get a win center square infringement maybe and it'll go the way of the Roosters O'Hara got it away to Bamford Bamford's kick chopped off by Waite taken by Howard Howard just loves to shrug off goes away to Ryswick Ryswick the handball over the top good start by North Creed gave it to Bamford Bamford from 45 sets it up and kicks the first wonderful play by the Roosters what a way to get them started Ben yeah great stuff goes down via that left foot overrun by Lacra battles on Comes for Ivans, out the back to Cabillo. Down the line, he'll look, good work. Got around two, has a bounce and time to look upfield. And a good finish too, just too much carry on the ball. Howard, he started well, Uni has. And so of North Adelaide, let's face it. Now for Laddams on the lead, and that was certainly a mark, and it was certainly a late punch away. And Laddams will go back, Tommy Carr remonstrating. And that will be 50. And get 25. Clint Alloway, former captain of Box Hill, showing his leadership skills there. <laughs> Box Hill, been the operative word. Another one surely coming up for North Adelaide. Brilliant start. And Laddams, who was very quiet last week, is on the board. The thing about Chris Laddams is he's a bit of a comp. Still not out of bounds, now it is, and Gates will get a free kick for too high. Very well done by Matthew Gates a minute ago. We saw him back into the pack and into set ball. So he's backed into one pack and then he's followed up and given a good second effort. So very well done. Had Di Pasquale behind him screaming for it. He's still hollering Di Pasquale. He's gone into the back pocket and he'll use him now. Here's the problem. In the form of Laddams. If your foot skills aren't good, you'll get <laughs> murdered in today's football. Chris Laddams did that so well. He just sat far enough off Di Pasquale that Pasquale kept calling it. Di Pasquale called it, called it, called it. And uh, Laddams knew exactly what was about to happen. Smart footballer. And don't count him out to slot this from here. He's booted one. And he's made them pay. And he loves to celebrate a goal. Classic piece of work, well thought out. That man wouldn't be happy about it. Surely he would have seen that coming. Well, 13 points to margin. Wakeland with the first touch on the ball. Allen sprung himself out of the pack. It's a free kick. Don't know about that. So North Adelaide will get another centre clearance. They're fourth. Alloway. Releasing to Bamford, made a good start on the wing, Bamford, as has Ryswick on the other wing, and so is this man, Laddams, inside forward 50. You would think this is an easier shot than the one he kicked from this side of the ground for a left footer. A little bit more distance, though, so this might test him. He'll be kicking from at least 45, and it is a reasonably sharp angle, certainly easier in that pocket for a left footer than in the vice versa pocket where he just kicked one from. He loves a challenge, though, Neil, doesn't uh, he? He loves these angular goals. I tell you what, that gentleman just behind him is setting him a challenge. <laughs> he's just had a few words in Chris Laddams' ears and if he does kick it, I wonder what sort of reaction we'll get. That's yeah, a very he good does kick. kick it and he's happy. Have a look at that. Well, I think if you're a Port Adelaide fan, you would be disappointed. Now, this match was set up, really, wasn't it? You know, the Williams family losing the matriarch, Vaughn, and it was supposed to be all fire and brimstone in the first 15 minutes. Interesting to note, Krieg, who briefly came into the play for North Adelaide before he's in the middle he's on Summerton who I don't think has touched the ball this afternoon the young man who's done so well through the first third of the SANFL season North Adelaide forward again they have numbers and here's Wonky a cute angle there he goes he doesn't miss and he's happy about it it's taken three opportunities for the young man but he's finally got his first goal in league footy and he gets surrounded by his teammates North Adelaide get one back water well, what sort of advice Andrew Jarman giving out there? Meikle John was at the front. Well done. Clever stuff by Wakeland. And Gill sends it back inside that forward 50 again. In the middle of the pack was Laddams. How did he pull that one? He was probably the shortest man in that pack as well. Andrew Jarman said, well, forget what I just said. It's okay. <laughs> I think Andrew Drummond's sending out messages. So you drop it straight and guide it onto your foot. And that's about all he has to do at the moment because everything else is going beautifully. Laddams for his fourth goal of the opening no quarter. He's done it. The margin out to 30 points. 
So they've had a few hiccups in front of goal, but not Crispin. Booming kick, looking for Perry. O'Hara went to thump away. Discipline play. Here's the ball magnet in Allen. He's got to use Bamford. Good handball. Bamford smart, Number quick, five. and also wonderful by foot. Taken by Krieg. He'll draw a man over the top. Ryswick should kick a goal and ducks. He celebrates. It's back to 30 points, as you were at quarter time. Well, not the answer with him. Slattery kicks to the pocket, but over the top. Terrible kick. How can Hargraves kick goals when that happens? Cabello. A lot of roosters on the grandstand. Foss Williams side of the ground. Allen. Nothing here, though. That's where he's got to hold this football up. Ivans. He'll punch it long. And look for Uni with the stretch. Can't take the mark. Over the back. He's got the ground skills. Carr nailed him, though. Taken by Bamford. Bamford's handball. He caught one too high. The little man. And the advantage rule is pay. Uni looks up. And, well, he couldn't find Alloway except on the bounce. Alloway looks. Well done. Centres the ball up. Laddams couldn't take it. Ball comes loose again. Kaisler. Clever hand pass. Spawn off the ground. Another one for North Adelaide. And I'll tell you what, we're going to have a riot at some stage if the Magpie fans had their way. They're not happy with the umpiring at the moment. A spawn the crumb. Corey Archie backed into the pack and brought it up straight down in front. But like you said, you just have to nail those ones if you want to creep this score back in your favour. Dorman, working hard, has a run at Cubillo. He'll give it to him. Cubillo can go wide for Gill, decides to stay in the corridor. Back to Laddams. He doesn't have any qualms about going outside the corridor. He looks out there straight away and then decides, no, best option is just a tumble punt. And why not? It worked. Ryswick. Looks inside 50. Not the greatest of kicks. Alloway just reaches over the top. Did he have the hands in the back? Certainly his opponent, Perry, thought so. We'll soon see, but this will really hurt Port Adelaide. We see the contest. The hands certainly are in the back, but I think it was more just the holding. There certainly wasn't any push or... Oh, yeah, the rules still the same, though. With the hands in the back, yeah, absolutely. And we won't argue about this again, because we did last time for about <laughs> no, three and a half hours. <laughs> Well, there's no argument about the kick, I don't think. He has kicked a goal. Yes, he has. There was no argument at all. <laughs> so Alloway has a goal. The number of times that Port Adelaide have fumbled the football on the ground or missed a target going forward. Have they overplayed the importance of the day? They might have done. I'll come back to you in a moment. North go forward. Alloway! Oh, yeah. It's a great jump. A uh, great jump up and over Tommy Carr. Oh, it's been in great marking form, but just not goal-kicking form. Oh, that's right, but if he keeps getting five or ten shots a quarter, he'll probably end up with a few. Let's have a look at... Uh, that's a terrific mark. So he got 13 kicks, two handballs, and his tenth mark, and just about all of those have been inside 50. That's crucial. Here's Alloway. What has he learnt from his other kick? A fair bit, that well. <laughs> he boots his second... Oh, and it's getting a bit ugly at the moment. It's out to 42. 